D. H. Lawrence's novel, The Rainbow, 1915, follows the Brangwen family across three generations in Nottinghamshire, England, during the transformative Second Industrial Revolution. Spanning approximately 65 years, the book delves into how each successive generation adapts to the forces of modernity and industrial advancements. The exploration of sexual desire and its impact on the characters' relationships and spiritual lives made The Rainbow the subject of an obscenity trial shortly after its release. More than a thousand copies of the novel were confiscated and burned, resulting in its unavailability in England for a decade originally conceived as one comprehensive novel, D.H. Lawrence intended The Rainbow and its sequel Women in Love, 1920, to form a continuous narrative. The protagonist, Ursula Brangwen, continues her quest for personal and spiritual fulfillment in Women in Love. The Rainbow delves into themes of coming of age, the transition from an agrarian to an industrial society, religion, and family dynamics, particularly the institution of marriage, through the evolving attitudes of three generations. The first part of the novel focuses on the young adulthood of Tom Brangwen and his marriage to Lydia Lenski, a Polish refugee who has experienced the loss of two children and a husband. Despite her sexual attraction to Tom, Lydia fears falling into subservience to another spouse. Cultural differences and Tom's own insecurities create challenges within their marriage. As their relationship becomes strained, Tom forms a deep bond with his stepdaughter, Anna, relying on her to bolster his self-confidence. Over time, Anna sees him as a father figure. Tom grapples with alcoholism and a sense of purposelessness, while Lydia grows increasingly indifferent during her pregnancy with their first child. Following a heated argument, they both recognize their neglect of each other, leading to a reconciliation and a renewed commitment to their marriage. In the novel's second section, we follow the journey of Anna Brangwen as she transitions into adulthood, attends school, and eventually marries her step-cousin, Will Brangwen. Anna's experiences at school are marked by her struggle to form deep connections with her peers, leaving her feeling isolated. As she enters her late teens, she starts to feel a growing emotional distance from her mother and begins to question the tenets of organized religion. At the age of 18, Anna meets Will and is immediately drawn to him. They begin a secret relationship, and Will, a skilled craftsman, gifts her a butter stamp adorned with a phoenix. When they decide to marry, Anna's parents object, leading to a heated confrontation where Anna, in a fit of anger, denies Tom as her real father. Eventually, Tom relents and offers them shares in the family farm, which helps mend his relationship with Anna. However, once Will and Anna marry, their relationship becomes tumultuous and verbally abusive. The first cracks appear when Anna decides to host a tea party, breaking the solitude of their honeymoon. Will, who is deeply religious, clashes with Anna, who questions and challenges his beliefs. Their arguments escalate, leading to Will burning a wood carving of Adam and Eve that he had painstakingly created, throughout their marriage. Moments of tenderness alternate with periods where Anna longs for solitude while Will battles with dark moods. Uncertainty hangs in the air when Anna discovers she is pregnant, unsure of how Will will react. Their relationship reaches a breaking point when he finds her dancing naked during her pregnancy, triggering an intense argument. Will contemplates leaving, but his love for Anna prevents him from doing so. I in an attempt to find solace outside their troubled marriage, Will tries to be unfaithful, but his advances are rejected. Upon his return home, Anna senses a change in him, and their relationship takes on a renewed passion. As Anna becomes consumed with the responsibilities of caring for their second child, conceived before Ursula, their eldest daughter, is even 10 months old, Will forms a close bond with Ursula. In the final section of the novel, we delve into the late teenage years and early adulthood of Ursula Brangwen, where she experiences a transformative period. Ursula is introduced to Anton Skrebensky, and they fall deeply in love. However, Ursula's desire for an independent life clashes with the domesticity embraced by her mother, Anna. She questions the teachings of the church when turning the other cheek in a fight only leads to further abuse. Ursula's passion for Anton intensifies, but it wanes when he departs to fight in the Boer War. Seeking fulfillment elsewhere, she engages in a sexual relationship with her teacher, Winifred Inger. However, as her feelings for Winifred diminish, Ursula orchestrates a meeting between Winifred and her uncle Tom, hoping they will become engaged. As Ursula becomes a teacher herself, she continues to forge her own identity, actively participating in suffragette events alongside a friend. 
She pursues a college degree, but Anton unexpectedly returns during her third year, urging her to accompany him to India for a six-month deployment. They rekindle their relationship, he proposes marriage, and she travels to France with him. However, upon her return, Ursula fails her exams, due to the distractions of their relationship Ursula eventually breaks off the engagement, yearning to maintain her freedom. Unbeknownst to her, Anton hastily marries someone else, before departing for India. Fearing she may be pregnant, Ursula returns to her family's home and shares the news with Anton through a letter. Following a period of being confined to bed due to a fall and an illness, Ursula receives the disheartening news that Anton is married and she is not pregnant. However, during this time of reflection and recovery, a glimmer of hope emerges. As Ursula gazes out her window, she spots a radiant rainbow gracing the sky, filling her with a renewed sense of optimism for what lies ahead in her future. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.